Так, а вот и продолжение полного прохождения. Я нашел версию игры, в которой после прохождения первого эпизода сразу есть доступ к главе второго эпизода, к первой. Так, части. Вот, а то мне попадались какие-то версии сырые, наверное, в которых не было вот этих вот. Как бы завершил миссию, немножко по-другому прошел там. Вот в этой ночной прогулке зашел к Эмили в комнату. Там что-то, парочку предметов каких-то нашел. В общем, неважно. Сейчас будем проходить второй эпизод и потом уже третий. Второй я примерно так помню, но давно уже, месяца два назад, наверное, проходил. Вот, а третий только английскую версию, считаю, проходил. И там будет интересно. How many times must I tell you? You must never put your life on the line for me. Mother has always had a fascination for Lord Mortimer but has never wanted to tell me why. We are doing our utmost to find your mother as quickly as possible. Without your mother, hundreds of men of the cloth would have gone to the guillotine. All I can tell you is I'm looking for my sister. Do you believe your mother capable of torturing a child? An agreement for cannons. Lord Mortimer assured me that you are to take over the project on behalf of your mother. Johann Christoph von Wollner, Minister of Religious Affairs, and Jacques Perrou, French Revolutionary Tribunal Judge. You will find that Lord Mortimer is not what one would call conventional, Monsieur de Richet. I do apologize for being late. I was obliged to clear up some urgent business. Так, теперь манускрипты у нас целых три. Можно Last we meet, Monsieur de Richet. Do you mind if I call you Louis? Please do. Thank you. I wish to apologize wholeheartedly, Louis. I made you cross the seas, and I wasn't even here to welcome you. When I asked you to join us here, it, it was, of course, in the hope that you would help us find your mother. However, there may be some new developments, but I, I don't know if they are linked to your mother. We have found Elizabeth Adams' body in her room. I'm afraid she was brutally murdered, stabbed several times. Да, странный этот лорд Мортибер. Так, про встречу рассказать. Ну... Чего он тут может не знать, промолчать тоже не то, но давайте будем пользоваться вот этой вот штукой. Who, who have done it? That is precisely what I would like you to help us determine, Louis. Duchess Hillsborough informed us that she accompanied you at the beginning of the evening. You apparently bumped into Miss Adams, who wanted to speak to you. We are told you turned her away, and she went away on her own. That's correct. Do you know what she wanted to see you about, by any chance? Ну, мы как бы знаем. В панике она была, это понятно. Ну, скажем, к сожалению, нет. Зачем ему что-то еще другое говорить? Not in the least. Pity. The poor child was probably trying to find help. I thought it could wait until tomorrow. Hmm. Apparently not. Louis, I shan't hide the fact that this tragedy puts me in a very delicate situation. 
I cannot risk upsetting the smooth operation of our next conference. But the case cannot remain unaddressed. I must reassure my guests, and justice will be done. And for that to happen, I must ask for your help. Why is that? You met Elizabeth. You spoke together, I believe. She trusted you. Listen, Louis. Find out who could have committed this murder. I refuse to believe that one of my guests is the murderer. I want to know who is responsible for this. And I trust you. You have my backing. You must stop at nothing. Can I count on you? Of course. H how would you like me to proceed? Maybe you could start by going to the scene of the crime. Elizabeth was attacked in her room. Can you tell me anything else about what happened? Now, Louis, I wouldn't want to influence you. Get over there and form your own opinion. Do you have any suspects in mind, my lord? I spent most of the night talking with Sir Gregory and his eminence Piaggi, so I think you can remove them from the list of suspects. Monsieur Bonaparte and President Washington left the party after midnight, I believe. They were tired and went up to bed. Right. I'll get over there immediately. Thank you, Louis. Now, once you've finished, come back and let me know your findings. I'll be waiting. And, Louis, you've got permission to search through the guests' rooms. They've all been notified, and they agree. Так, ну, тут все как обычно. До начала, до того, как мы пойдем обыскивать комнаты, что я сделаю. Так, мы сначала прошарим все здесь. Devil's Thorn. Dante's Purgatory. Why does your mind presume to flight when you're still like the imperfect grub, the worm before it's attained its final form? Charming. Hmm, which four-letter word could open this chest? Тут все очень просто. Первый раз, когда проходил этот второй эпизод, вроде как статуя Зевса где-то тут рядом стоит. Вот и Зевс подходит к этому сундучку. Nightmare painted by Fusili in 1781.
Так, давайте-ка посмотрим, что у нас в журнале нового появилось. Тут же куча разных персонажей у нас добавилась. Вот сколько слабостей и услуг. И еще неизвестно подписано. Так, манускрипт еще будет прочитано. Бдительность надо качнуть будет. Это вот как-то если раскрывать устойчивость и слабости целенаправленно, то можно будет получать плюс к каким-то навыкам. Но я сомневаюсь, что это прям в данной части игры будет так просто. Your Eminence, I imagine that you've heard the news about Miss Adams. What a tragedy, my son. How could uh, such a thing have happened? That's exactly what I'm trying to find out. Did you notice anything out of the ordinary last night? Mm. I saw the young French soldier, Bonaparte, I believe, uh, hanging around near Miss Adams' room. But I would not want to get an innocent man into trouble, Louis. He's uh, probably nothing. One last thing. You must know that Peru hit young Adams on the evening of our arrival. He apparently violently attacked her in the small salon. Do you know anything else about the attack? Oh, unfortunately not. I arrived too late to intervene. Young Miss Adams had already been submitted to the foul louts rat. Otherwise, you can believe me, it would not have happened.
Кстати, вот тут, в первом эпизоде, когда в ночную прогулку выходишь, можно найти ключик. И этим ключом открывается комната Элизабет. Но прежде чем туда пойти, нужно в комнату Перу зайти и там все обшарить. want from me, Derishe? Greetings. It's fallen to me Cut that... the crap! Get to the point. We both know why you're here. And have you got anything to tell me? What does it matter? It's too late anyway. Do what you have to do and get out. It's never too late, sir. If you have something to say, now is the time. You don't understand. Everything's already written. It's over. Why is he behaving like the perfect culprit? What is it that's already written? I'm not sure I follow you. No, you don't. Dear Monsieur Pe... All right, I've retrieved everything. Dear friend, все, что можно было, я уже у него стырил. All right, have you finished? Not quite. I'd like you to answer a few questions. Get right to it. Are you a Elizabeth Adams murderer? That is for you to prove, if I'm not mistaken, boy. You weren't expecting me to do all the legwork for you, were you? Lazy man. Так, интересно. А, мы открыли просто. Two days ago, I surprised you having a go at Miss Adams. What happened? Did you want to give her another beating? She wouldn't let you push her around again, huh? Shut up, you little shit! You have no idea what happened, and here you are, carping away! You think you're investigator of the year? Have you taken a look at yourself, Derishe? Didn't you get enough beating her black and blue the last time? I did not! Why? Nothing. Get away from me. Just as soon as you stop treating me like I'm an idiot. If you wanted people to think you were guilty, you couldn't have done any better. So cut the bullshit and come clean now. I can't! He'll come for revenge. Who? No one! Just shut your trap, goddammit! Yes, I was there. Yes, I walked in her blood. You've got all you need to wrap it up. Now scram! Там дальше видно будет расследование. There's just one holster in Bonaparte's gear, and the pistol is missing. On the other hand, his cleaning equipment is in mint condition. That's typical of the soldier in it. My dear Annabelle. Mm -hmm. 
bicorn decorated with a cockade. It must belong to a French soldier. Monsieur de Richer, please be quick. We are both very busy. Someone saw you not far from the victim's room. Can you tell me what you were doing exactly, please? I can tell you that someone is an idiot. I wanted to warn her to be careful. You see, on the night of my arrival, I saw someone leaving her room in haste. And I wanted to speak to her, to warn her. Unfortunately, the young lady slipped through my fingers each time. Now I know why. She had every reason to be worried. What an idiot I was not to insist. I could have helped her. I've been studying him for a while now, and I don't think he was lying. Yet, I'm surprised how easy it was for me to read him. It must surely be his military side. I wish they all could be like that. My investigation would be finished already. Well, have we finished, monsieur? Exactly. Thanks again for all your answers. Good day. from William Pitt the Younger addressed to Emily. He's the present Prime Minister of the United Kingdom. Emily has indeed some powerful backers. Madam, thank you. What can I do for you, Louis? I've come to see you about last night's tragedy. Did you hear anything about what happened to Elizabeth? Yes, we all did. Rumors spread quickly, you know. How awful. I didn't know her well. But I hope at least the poor thing didn't suffer too much. Death came quickly. You can be assured of that. If such a senseless act can happen here, then none of us is truly safe anywhere. Lord Mortimer must be mortified that one of his guests could have committed such an act, don't you think? He is indeed very upset about it. It's only natural after such a violent murder. Violent? What do you mean? Elizabeth was stabbed nine times. Oh my god, Louis. How awful. The murderer must have had a serious grudge against her to set upon her like that. It must have been a crime of passion. Do you know what happened exactly? In fact, Lord Mortimer has asked me to look into this case, Emily. Really? Are you Lord Mortimer's snoop now? I'm doing it for Elizabeth, not to please Mortimer. Good for you. Quite right, too. Have you found out anything? Did you and Elizabeth get to know each other? I must admit, Louis, I... I didn't take much interest in her. I feel a bit guilty about it, but I never actually spoke to her. She seemed burdened by her problems, and as she wasn't invited to the conference, I didn't really seek her out. I won't keep you, Emily. Thank you for answering my questions. See you, Louis.
помните, Джорджа, по-моему, мы в первый раз. Devil's Thorn. I'll keep it. My dear George, it looks like a note between Emily and Washington about trade deals. The English and the Americans are preparing a peace treaty. It would appear that Emily is in secret discussion with Washington about reopening trade between the United States and England. If such an arrangement came into being, France would suffer dearly. of George Washington. Carmelite water. They say that if you drink this, it gives you a real boost. Mr. President, you can guess why I'm here. Of course. Lord Mortimer has sent me to ask you a few questions about last night. It's... How am I going to tell Elizabeth's father that she's dead? I know, Mr. President. I shall endeavor to find out the truth about this tragedy. I must ask you to help me, though. Please. Find the degenerate pig who did this, Louis. Are you all right, Mr. President? Are you feeling all right? Oh, don't worry. It's this rotten toothache. What do you expect? I'm no spring chicken now. I'm talking to all the guests to find out who has an alibi and, well, who doesn't, Mr. President. Can you tell me what you were doing last night so that I can strike your name off the list? I spent the night right here, reading. All night? Exactly. Emily stopped by in the middle of the night, you can ask her. She wanted to talk about some business we have in common. Anything whatsoever to do with Elizabeth? Not at all, Louis. A business matter. Tell me, Mr. President, had you spoken to Elizabeth since your arrival? You know her father. You thought she was dead. No, I didn't. And I believe I'll be taking my remorse with me to my grave. I wanted to, but I didn't know where to begin. You can't blame yourself. You... Well, you couldn't have known that her days were numbered.
Do you know if she had any enemies, Mr. President? Not that I know of. I heard about her altercation with Mr. Perry, but that case was closed, if I'm not mistaken. But if in doubt, I wouldn't leave any door unopened, and I'd go and question your fellow countrymen. Don't worry. Countryman or not, I'm not letting anybody slip through the cracks. Do you know why she came to the island? To get help, if I'm not mistaken. Isn't that right? Indeed. Sir Gregory suggested to her father that he introduce her to Lord Mortimer to see if he could help her. It would appear that she wasn't invited to the conference. That doesn't surprise me. The poor girl was in no way concerned by our business, and she had no political clout. So, I don't understand why Sir Gregory invited her during the conference of his good friend Lord Mortimer. He must have realized that he wouldn't have much time to grant her. Preparing a conference does not seem an easy task. On the evening of our arrival, Lord Mortimer didn't even welcome us, what with his being so busy and all. Yes, you're right, Louis. I didn't think of that. It is indeed rather surprising. The easiest thing to do is simply ask him, you know. Of course. I shan't keep you any longer, Mr. President. Feel free, Louis. If there's anything I can do, just ask. Thank you, Mr. President. Good day, Monsieur de Richer. Mr. Volner, are you looking for anything in particular? Next to Elizabeth's room? I... I... No, no, I... Nothing special. I'd have thought this is not really the shortest way to get to your suite. Uh, yes, I, I wasn't really looking where I was going. I shall leave you now, sir. I will return to my room. Johann von Wulner. Cash. of young Werther. There's a handwritten text signed by Von Werner on this first page. Dear Elizabeth, I know that this book is but a small token compared to the delightful moments you gave me, but I hope that this will nonetheless keep the memory alive. Your ever obedient servant. So, Volner had a relationship with Elizabeth, but that's hardly surprising given his fondness for the occult. То есть тоже, если он состоял в связи, то вряд ли он убил. Carmelite water. They say that if you drink this, it gives you a real boost. The signs of the zodiac. Golden elixir. The t 
table of alchemical symbols, someone circled the zinc symbol. A chest locked with a four-letter code, surely a word close to the owner's heart. Alchemist is an old man. What can I do for you, the Riche? Monsieur, Lord Mortimer has appointed me to investigate the tragedy that befell us last night. Oh, yes. It's horrible. Yes. How can I help, Monsieur? Excuse me for asking, but did you know Miss Adams? Oh, she... Uh, not really, to tell the truth. No. I found the Werther dedication. Signed by your hand, monsieur. Would you like to change your version now? Be careful, Duriche. Don't push your luck. My relationship with Miss Adams was pure and has nothing to do with you. Well, continue playing the detective as you see fit. But if I find the bastard who did that to Elizabeth, I will... Yes! I would have preferred a simple response, but I see I have my answer now. Please, tell me a little more about the nature of your relationship. That is a personal matter, monsieur. Yes, that is true. So, tell me. All right. It was passion. That's why we couldn't stay together. It scared her. I get the impression that your romance was over. Am I right? So? What does it matter to you? I would never have attacked her, if that's what you're insinuating. Who put an end to the relationship? You or her? It was her. It was her. But what does that matter? We both agreed. Exactly how long had you been seeing her? I have no reason to answer you. I see. Is that what you want me to tell Lord Mortimer when he asks what I found out? It's... it's only been a few weeks. You loved her, didn't you? That is none of your damn business. Your feelings betray you, sir. So what? Yes. I loved her like a moth loves the flame of a candle. That's why we could never be together. Where were you last night? In my room. I read a few ancient manuscripts before going to bed. But I didn't stay up long. I was tired. Thank you kindly. 
We finished. I'll have a look around and then take my leave. Do whatever you have to do. Тут мы уже собирали все, остается только само тело обследовать, скорее всего. Clock stopped at 3:54. If it was smashed during the murder, then I've just established the time of the crime. That would clear Emily de facto because she was still with me at the time. Вот тут, кстати говоря, начинается самая большая проблема в игре. Эмили, Эмили и его мать, вот этого Гриша, они как бы подозреваемы, потому что на ножике там обнаружится, что рука маленькая там. Вот, и у Эмили есть сестра, и она живая причем. А Мортимер скажет ему, что она померла в этом эпизоде, а в третьем мы встретим и ту и другую сестру, и одна другую убьет вроде как в моем прохождении там, где английский еще субтитры. Мне вот интересно, если другую выбрать, которая за спиной стояла, и вообще как-то можно ли подловить их, там, не знаю. То есть я подозреваю Эмму, вторую сестру Эмми, ну точнее сестру близняшку то эту близнеца. Ну, насчет матери, не знаю, по-моему, не она. Так что, не Перу, не остальные, это точно. A pentagram? What the hell's been going on here? Contrary to what most people believe, a pentagram's not there to conjure up, I don't know, what evil or demonic creature. With the point toward the top, the pentagram is an ancient symbol of protection against evil. Что это такое большое сердце ну -ка. A notebook written in Elizabeth's handwriting. It is written in a mix of several languages. Not too easy to work out. It looks like a mixture of medieval Latin and Anglo-Norman. It is difficult to make sense of this jerky writing. I can make out some passages, though. He's coming. The demon is upon me. He's coming back to kill me. There she is. Death has come to finish me off. I've just run into her son. That was her last entry. What tortured writing? Так, так мы все смотрели. А, пистолет. Ну не с пистолета же ее убили. Просто подкинули пистолет. Fairly new, I'd say. And judging by the weight of it, fairly light. It's extremely well maintained. The barrel is perfectly clean. It isn't loaded and well, there's no traces of gunshot residue. I'd conclude that it hasn't been used recently. Hmm. There's a few dried traces of blood on the grip. Difficult to know for sure how they got there. The tribute engraved on the barrel. To the liberators of France. 
Right. I shall have to find its owner. Это наполеоновский пистолет в любом. Piece of fabric, high quality at that. I'd say it's silk. Going by the texture and the gray hue, it must come from a, a dress that kind that women of quality wear. The color doesn't correspond to Emily's black outfits, and Elizabeth doesn't have anything quite like this in her wardrobe. Let's take a closer look. It's a little dirty. It must come from the bottom of the dress where it touches the ground. I recognize that moiré pattern. It's the same as the travel dress my mother was wearing when she left. But why the hell did she come into this room? Vials of laudanum. The label shows that this laudanum comes straight from America. I wonder if Washington's involved. Blood spatter indicates that the murder must have held Elizabeth upright during the attack. Even if Elizabeth wasn't very big, I, I doubt she wouldn't have put up a struggle. It takes tremendous strength to overpower someone like that. Part of the handle is unsullied by blood. The murderer gripped the weapon so tight that there's no blood where he held it. The handprint indicates a small and slender hand. The blade is short and thin. Well sharpened, apparently. It's covered in blood. Still fresh. A knocked over bottle of wine. Plunk is that? Hey, it's a Bordeaux. That's a Chateau de Brion. It's a great wine. I don't know what's happened to this wine, but it's undrinkable. Poor girl bled to death. Whoever left that footprint has boats for feet. That's at least a size 15. Where's a size like that here? Peru? Washington, maybe. symbol. This pinnacle is a trap. The wearers of the pinnacle thought that they were protected from evil by surrounding it inside the different circles of the pinnacle. No marks or bruising around the wrists. It doesn't look like she was tied up or held by force. I count no fewer than nine wounds on the thorax with a lot of blood. On first sight, I'd say that's what caused her death. It looks as though the wounds were inflicted from a precise angle, as if 
as if the murderer was standing behind Elizabeth. Some of these tattoos are veritable works of... What's that? The skin between her breasts is different. Bloody hell! This tattoo was drawn on a page of leather and stitched onto her skin. Probably during childhood. The scars are anything to go by. It's the same kind of tattoo as on the rest of her body. There are numerous marks on the body. She must have fought like a lion. It couldn't have happened without a lot of noise. There are also a number of old scars. Symbol of Masons? What's that doing here? She had the Sigilum de Amoth tattooed on her. A symbol of the living God. Written in the language of angels, according to believers. It is rare for someone to know about symbols like this at her age. Unless her mother was a tutor. Ancient Greek. Let's see what it means. These are sacred chants intended to protect their bearer. But from whom? Or from what? Scars are superficial and were made several years ago. She wasn't trying to take her own life. Scarring, ugh. Scarring isn't very regular, but they're mostly from old cuts. People who scar themselves in this way generally do so to relieve some kind of psychological suffering. By trying to master the pain, they establish their self-control. There are numerous marks on the body. She must have fought like a lion. It couldn't have happened without a lot of noise. There are also a number of old scars. I see no sign of bruising on the skull. The only clue is a scar from a previous craniectomy. Poor Elizabeth, she... She must have been very young when she went through all that. That's torture. She also has old scars around the neck. Maybe mutilations. What a strange smell. Her breath smells of alcohol and of laudanum. People use it to relieve pain. She bled from the nose. There are signs of bleeding, but I don't see any traces of bruising. Blood, but no trace of blows on the legs. More tattoos, similar to those on the rest of her body. Has uh, finished with this room? Do you know who could have made such a mess of this room? Miss Adams, sir. We were given orders to leave the room as it was, so as not to rush her. Did she have a fight with someone to get the room into this state? Not that I know of, sir. Miss Adams would sometimes throw a tantrum, during which she would destroy anything that came to hand. Lord Mortimer told us not to enter the room. Thanks for that information. You are welcome, sir. Has uh, finished with this room? I know enough now. Thank you. 
Very well, sir. Sir may return whenever need be. I shall guard the door. Так, как понять, что мы расследование завершили? I've come to speak about the findings of the investigation, my lord. I'm listening, Louis. I'm sorry, my lord, but I don't have any evidence conclusive enough to allow me to name the culprit with certitude. Really? I see. Well, that's your decision, Louis, and I accept it. Given the distinguished guests and the sensitive political issues involved at the conference, I trust you'll leave me to conclude the case in my own way. Right. It's time we spoke about your mother, Louis. She isn't missing, you know. What? What, what do you mean? My mother has left traces in every nook and cranny of your island, my lord. She's definitely here. Now, what worries me most is why she doesn't show herself. That doesn't make me feel any better, Louis. What was the official reason why my mother came to your island? I knew about your mother's activities and yours in the Golden Order. I thought we had everything to gain by working together. You mean the cannon deal with Monsieur Bonaparte? Among others, yes. How did you hear about that? Monsieur Bonaparte came to speak to me about it yesterday, during lunch. I see. So impetuous. He was supposed to let me speak to you about it first. Our friend Napoleon desperately needed financial backing to properly equip his army. I took it upon myself to back him, because I have a firm conviction that he can go far. We shall see. However, there's one thing that surprises me. Did my mother intend to finance a war? I'm not sure that I follow. No, your mother's aim was not so much to partake in a war, but rather to make Monsieur Bonaparte accountable. France is in turmoil, and having the support of a military man can often come in handy, Louis. You'll see. Once this deal was closed, I had big plans for Sarah. Such as what? You see, I've invited several 
influential figures on my island to present them with a project at the conference. It will be presented later today. I thought that the Golden Order had a role to play. And I still think so. I was hoping Sarah would be able to join us. Hmm. I see. Indeed, if by chance your mother decided not to return to us before the conference, would you do me the great honor of attending? If only to follow the deliberations while waiting for her to duly take her seat. Why not? We shall see. Ah, thank you so much. In this way, you'll be able to keep your mother informed of what is said. Um, there's something else I'd like to briefly go over. Earlier, you asked me the official reason for your mother's presence here. Is there an off-the-record reason why your mother came here? If only my mother had trusted me, but she remained very mysterious. I'd have been delighted to answer your question. Is this usual for her? As head of the Order, secrets are her bread and butter, as you can imagine. That said, it's the first time she hasn't let me in on the reason for her trip. And it intrigues me, to tell you the truth. Well, I am sure that Sarah will explain everything once she reappears. There's something I still don't get. In your opinion, why would your mother remain in hiding over several weeks? Her not coming back to the manor after so long makes me wonder if she is wary of someone. Well, certainly. But whom? The only ones who were present during her stay were Sir Gregory, Duchess Hillsborough, Mr. Von Volner, and myself. It seems you're close friends, but what can you tell me about Sir Gregory? Gregory? Oh, he's one of those cantankerous old men who hates losing at chess, is a little eccentric and rather conservative. I'm sure you've met the type. Well, actually, I don't judge people on how they look. And you do well not to. What with his manner of continuing to wear makeup as he does, Gregory often gives off an unhealthy image. The only thing I can tell you is that Sarah had indeed changed. At the beginning of her stay here, we enjoyed spending time together, solving the world's problems. Tell me. Tell me about her disappearance. Since she disappeared, your mother has been seen once. Her behavior on the evening of your arrival greatly surprised Gregory and myself. She resurfaced to attack Emma, Emily Hillsborough's twin sister. And she shot her with a pistol. Then, before Gregory could intervene, she ran off and disappeared again. I beg your pardon? Hang on. That means my vision on the wharf, it, it was actually happening inside the manor. Mother shot Emily's sister? The very person she came looking for? Why would she do that? Excuse me. But between that and the childhood of Lady Adams, it's, it's all a bit much for me to cope with. I need to piece it all together again to see things more clearly. You said that you spent a lot of time talking together at the beginning. What happened for that to change? I'm afraid I, I haven't much to tell you. The more the days went by, the more she withdrew into herself. She never gave me an explanation. Until the day came when she purely and simply disappear. Where, where did she go when she wanted to be alone? She would shut herself away in a room we use as a box room upstairs. W would you allow me to go there? Naturally, Louis, of course. I'll send you a servant to open it. Thank you. That's all I can tell you about the disappearance of your mother, Louis. I would like to have been more helpful. I shall stay on her trail and follow up any leads. Thank you. Uh, we will meet later on to welcome our last guest. In the meantime, I shall get someone to open the box room upstairs for you. Thank you. Hmm, the room is just opposite Mortimer's study.
а то как раз нужно каких-то предметов подыскать типа меда